ओके स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग विद द चैप्टर नंबर फोर्थ ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम एंड इफ वी मेक द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम वी हैव द न्यूक्लियस इन द सेंटर एंड दीज आर द शेल्स and in the nucleus we have protons plus neutrons and in the shells the electrons are revolving electrons are revolving in the different shells different electron according to the electronic configuration they are revolving and the protons and the neutrons and the electrons to all these protons neutrons and the electrons all what we call them subatomic particles we called as a subatomic particles and that makes the whole structure of the atoms and we know that every matter either the solid either the liquid either the gas every matter having its inner structure inner structure what is its atom and that is the inner structure of the atom and in the starting the scientist said that the atom can't be dividable means we can't be seen the inner structure of the atom but after that the discovery of the new technology they sees that atoms that every matter having its inner structure and that inner structure is atom and that is the protons and neutrons and electrons that made up the whole atom okay the atoms are made up of the three subatomic particles electron protons and neutron electron has a negative charge protons have a positive charge whereas neutron having no charge so whole of the atom is electrically neutral and also neutron having no charge it is also a neutral protons neutrons are present in the small nucleus at the center of the atom here at the center protons plus neutrons are present and that what we called as a nucleus and these are the shells and almost the entire mass of the atom is nucleus because the electron which are outside the nucleus have very very small mass due to the presence of protons nucleus having positive charge and in this nucleus protons and neutron of presence and the total sum of the protons and the neutrons they make the whole mass of the atom and the electron mass is very very small that we always be ignored when we calculate the mass of the whole atom for example we have a carbon atomic number 6 it having six protons six neutrons okay so its mass will be coming 6 plus 6 when means when we do the addition of protons and the neutrons so its atomic mass will be 12 and it's also having the electron 6 means this electron also and these protons also helps us to find the atomic number of the carbon so its atomic number will always be 6 but its mass number due to the addition up of protons and due to the addition up of the neutron that gives us the 12 that is the atomic mass and these protons and the neutrons are present in the nucleus and the atom of the different element differ in the number of electron and protons and the neutron we know that in the periodic table 118 elements are present so every element having the it's a different atomic number every element having its different number of protons different number of neutrons and different number of the electrons now next the charge particle in matter if we rub a comb in dry air then it's rub uh, then the is comb attract the small pieces of the paper and uh, if we rub a glass rod with the piece of silk cloth and bring it in near an inflated balloon then the glass rod attract the balloon we know charge object can attract the charge object this means that on rubbing with the dry hair a comb gets electrical charge and on rubbing with the silk cloth a glass rod also get an electric charge now the question arises where does this electric charge come from the obvious answer is from within the atom present in the comb and the glass rod the simple experiment tells us that the some charge particles are present in the atom of the matter so atom is divisible okay they are saying if we rub the comb in our hair when we rub the comb 
in our here the ro the comb acquire the charge and from this charge is come uh, from where this charge is coming it means we know that comb is also a matter there are the three states of matter solid liquid and gas every matter having its the inner atomic structure that is the atom and in the inner atomic structure they having its uh, their electrons they having their protons they having their neutrons and when we rub the comb in our here the comb acquire the charge it means there is the transfer of the electron take place and the for example if the comb uh, suppose if the comb acquire the positive charge it means it comb give its electron to the here and uh, it then start uh, attracting the pieces of paper it start uh, attracting the pieces of paper it means the pieces of paper having the negative charge this we suppose that comb acquired suppose the positive charge here it also acquired the negative charge then pieces of paper having the positive charge and we always know that unlike charges unlike charges always attract each other attract each other so that's why the comb attracted the pieces of paper in the same way when we rub the glass rod with the <coughs> with the cloth and the glass rod also acquire the charge and when we keep that glass rod with the into the balloon it also attracted the balloons it means they both having the opposite charge that's why the glass rod on rubbing with the cloth acquire the charge and then attracted the balloon so you always keep in the mind that unlike charges always attract each other unlike charges means positive negative and like charges always repel each other like means positive when come close to positive or negative come to negative they always repel each other so that's this from this discovery from the this question we get the answer that every matter either in the solid state either in the liquid state either in the gas state having its inner atomic structure now we read the discovery of the electron now one by one we reading the subatomic particles their discovery and the the existence of electron in atom was dis shown by j j thomson in 1897 the thomson passed electricity at high voltage through a gas at very low pressure taken in a discharge tube stream of minute particles were carried were given out by the cathode and these streams particles are called the cathode rays because they are coming from out of the cathode the mass and charge of cathode ray particle does not depend on the nature of the gas taken in the discharge tube and cathode rays consist of small negatively charged particles called the electrons since all the gases from the cathode ray it was concluded that all the atom contains negatively charged particle called the electron thomson explained the formation of cathode rays as follow the gas taken in discharge tube consist of atoms and all the atom contain electron when high electrical voltage is applied the electrical energy pushes out some of the electron from the atom of the gas is the fast moving electrons from the cathode ray the formation of cathode ray shows that one of the subatomic particle present in the atom is negatively charged electron and we now define electron as follows the electron is a negatively charged particle found in the atom of all the element the electrons are located outside the nucleus in the atom only the hydrogen atom contain one electron all other atom contain the more than one electron and electron is usually represented by symbol e negative okay now we will uh, here discuss this discovery the discovery of electron by the j j thomson the scientist name j j thomson who done the discovery of electron what he take he take one discharge tube and in this discharge tube he take the gas okay gas at very low pressure any gas he taken in this discharge tube after that uh, the, we know that this discharge tube having the two electrode one is cathode and another is anode cathode is negatively charged and anode is positively charged mean the anode having positive charge cathode having negative charge after that the, uh, from here this cathode electrode we connected with the 
battery that is the battery also used and when we provided the high voltage through the battery to the cathode from the cathode there is the stream stream means like the water going in the river that type the stream is coming outside from the cathode and from that gas also the cathode help the gas to release the these negative charge particles and these negative charge particle what we call electrons what we call electrons in this way the jj thomson did the discovery of the electron firstly what he do he take the discharge tube in this discharge tube he take the gas at very low pressure any gas we uh, he take and after that uh, he connected the cathode that is also the electrode with the battery and from this battery he provided the high voltage to the cathode and cathode also help the gas to release the electrons in the form of stream and the electrons are going in this stream and these electrons having the negative charge and also what we called it cathode ray what we call cathode ray because they are coming with the help of the cathode and this negative charge releases by this negative charge releases by sorry negative charge releases by gas and we know that gas is a matter it means the gas and we also discuss that uh, every matter either solid liquid gas they having their atomic structure and in this atomic structure they have the electrons protons neutron nucleus whole structure we will discuss uh, sorry we we are discuss and uh, that's why the gas when we provide the high voltage releases the electron so in this way jj thomson did the discovery of electrons